This is a tutorial screencast on functional group location in the NMR spectrum. So we're going to look at proton NMR, which is abbreviated or shown as 1H, and carbon-13 NMR. So these are NMR active nuclei. So a typical spectrum will have a scale from 0 to 12, for the proton NMR. The x-axis is the Greek letter delta, which means chemical shift in units of parts per million. In C13 NMR, the scale is from 0 to 220. So let's first talk about what, what does this unit parts per million mean. So the chemical shift delta is defined as the distance downfield from tetramethylsilane I'm going to abbreviate that TMS in Hertz. So remember that Hertz is cycles per second. divided by the operating frequency of the spectrometer. And the unit of this is megahertz. So if you have hertz divided by megahertz, the unit that you get out of that is parts per million. Or ppm. So parts per million. So let me explain exactly what this means. So distance downfield from tetramethylsilane. So tetramethylsilane occurs at zero parts per million in the proton NMR, and it has this structure. So here's tetramethylsilane. It occurs at zero. So the chemical shift of our functional group is going to be relative to tetramethylsilane. So let's talk about operating frequency of the spectrometer. So we're going to make a, a, a table and then relate that to parts per million and then talk about resolution. So operating frequency, I'll, I'll abbreviate that operating frequency in megahertz. So typical uh, earlier instruments ran at 60 megahertz, then they got a little faster to 90 megahertz, all the way up to 300, and what we have here in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at USM is a 400 megahertz instrument. One part per million in terms of hertz is exactly the same number, so 60, 90, 300, 400. So what, what does this mean? So here's parts per million and here's the scale parts per million. So if we think of zero to one parts per million. This is the number of hertz that occurs in, in one part per million. You can think of it as resolution. So if you think of your TV, the greater the resolution, the finer the, the picture looks. So on a 60 megahertz instrument, there's 60 hertz from 0 to 1. As you increase, if you go to 90, you, you now have 90 hertz between 0 and 1. 
we go to 300, there's now 300 hertz between 0 and 1. And at 400, there's 400 hertz between 0 and 1 part per million. So in, in terms of uh, resolution, the more hertz you have between uh, one part per million, the finer the picture looks of the spectrum, so to speak.